Oh no, the gate is closing. Mihai's second sortie was designed to calculate how his physiology changed under the stress of combat. My job was to compare his performance as a pilot now to when he was younger and understand how his skills evolved. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure I wanted to know the answers anymore. For a man his age, Mihai's body was unbelievably resilient, remarkably flexible. His reflexes were as sharp as they ever were. Still, after all those years of flying in the outer layers of the atmosphere, even someone as strong as Mihai wasn't immune to the effects of the strain. The human body is fragile. It was not meant to handle the excessive amounts of radiation that constantly bombarded the stratosphere. For Mihai's second sortie, we used a flight suit that was still untested. He seemed fine on takeoff, but by the time he landed back at the base, he was clearly a mess. He got caught in a surprise dogfight with an especially stubborn enemy. It took a while for Mihai to bring him down. The suit was ineffective. According to the data, it wouldn't let him fly to his full potential. <laughs> Mihai relying on flight suits suit because he's an old man. When it finally arrived, Mihai's granddaughters glared at me with their disapproval. How do you make Grandpa go back out and to fly? Enduring. Clearly, it's where the dude lives. Denying him would be cruel. Stoic. He wasn't the type of man who cared about anything that happened here on the ground. I wasn't worried about it. I was confident the new suit would protect him thoroughly so that he could maneuver his plane any way he wanted. The moment he took off in his new flight suit, I realized what I had failed to before. Right after takeoff, as the wheels retracted, the plane suddenly arced up. It accelerated so quickly. I had never seen a plane move like that before. Mihai hit the high G's multiple times before disappearing into the blue. The support team couldn't even keep up. And then I knew. I understood why he never seemed to care about restoring his stolen country back to its former glory, and why he didn't seem to care about anything that happened here on the ground. Of course, Mihai's kingdom was the sky. Tell those granddaughters that they might get off your back. Just a thought. The operation to capture Arusha's capital, Farbanti, is beginning. This Yay. is the culmination of our work. We need to capture the Arusian forces general headquarters in the south of Farbanti and end this war. The plan is for ground troops to attack Farbanti from both the east and north, and a task fleet will attack from the southwest. We will secure air superiority over the capital, while providing air support for our allies on the ground and in the water. Ah, uh, another mission where you've got to go between three different areas for three levels of dogfights. Across land, sea, and air. Should you need to replenish your ammunition or make necessary repairs to your craft, a return line has been set up in the north. During this operation, we will also be tasked with having to destroy the communications satellites that Neruja hacked. If we take down the information communication system that we believe they have control over, it should plunge Neruja into chaos. Once the capital falls, the Erujian military will be isolated and thrown into chaos, making it easier for us to end the war. However, that can't happen until after the capital falls. So you guys are the stars of this battle. I'm the star of every battle. Arusha will fight like a tiger, but we cannot lose. We must seize the capital and end this war. Ah, look at all of those planes. Strider Squadron, proceed to runway. Sortie ASAP.
Our troops have engaged at Fabati Reconstruction Park, Silver Bridge, and the submerged area. We need you to help our boys in those three locations. This yep. end the war. God, it's so fucking bright, I can't see anything. Our friends are waiting. You know what, Wiseman? You can try. Strider 1, return lines to the north. Head that way if you need to reach the wall. Good luck, everyone. Get back here, you. Come on. Where'd you go, you dickhead? Eat those. Fucking asshole. Already at 67% damage the start of this battle. Oh no. No, no, no. Okay, you wanna... You wanna, you wanna play with the missiles? Oh well, apparently somebody else will take care of you then. The problem is an AC-10, you certainly survive. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Yeah! Who else is here? MIG! You don't have to worry about it either area. I'm gonna go clean up all three. Alright, everybody's in about the same area. Come on. Give me two more. There we go. Oh, you dodged two in a row. Well, here's a third. Oh, you deployed flares. Well, let's see your flares save you from that. Come on, I'm literally flying just at the fucking building level. You guys can't handle it? Oh, 
Motherfucker just said, who cares if he has three stripes? You not hear all of your friends dying? how well that works. Oh, look! Four, <laughs> four kills! That's just delightful. Uh, all of the enemy air support is gone. It took no time at all. Didn't I blow you guys up already? We can do it again. Come on. Come on. Got him. Hold up. There we go. Gotcha, kid. Yeah, the reinforcements are gone. Oh, lucky. Oh, somebody thinks they're a little ace or something, do they? Well, you can think that in hell. Understood. Not necessary. Yep, yeah, we did. It's a shame that there appears to be no more, uh, no more planes for my missiles. Strider one, target destroyed. Thank you, Longcaster, for stating the obvious. I saw the explosion. Hell, I fired the missile. That little Sam wants to be bit of a bitch, though. So we're just gonna make sure he gets some special treatment. Uh, let's see that miss. Oh! It's a lot of little gunboats you've got there. right background. I was gonna go fight the main fleet, but you know what? You guys asked for some special treatment, so who am I to deny? Man, 
this destroyer is not blowing. Hello, Serpent. I'm gonna just give you a full volley here, and then I've gotta go resupply. Well, good for you, asshole. Unfortunately, I do need a resupply. Go ahead and not get it out to have these quite as well as I'd like, but ah. spot left, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do too much to it. Who knows, maybe I'll get a long range destroy. Two. 
Lancaster. We have the upper hand. The enemy headquarters is almost ours. Operation to eliminate all enemy satellites also underway. All going according to plan. The end of the war is in sight. Think of something you'd like to eat, guys? Cause I'm buying. Roger that. Man, don't jinx us. Ah, you're right. New bogeys. No, five SU-30s inbound. It's Mr. X. Oh no. Hey, he's doing that trick that I do. Oh no, he's crippled two ships. What's going on here? I don't believe it. We just lost ship three and four. We're taking heavy damage. It's like this monster is toying with us out there. We've got to do something. LRSSG, we have an emergency order from Mission Command. Bring down Mr. X. I know it's a tall order, but HQ wouldn't ask if they didn't have faith in you. There they are. It's the snowbirds. The two leaders are in a different level. But don't underestimate the rest of them either. What? I'm sorry, were you saying something? Oh no, champions. Dead champions. Where's the last one? Oh, well, well, you missed. Get him. Ah, oh, Mr. X. Music is awesome, this fight is slow. Enemy has a radar lock on me. Fucking hell. Flying just fast enough to dodge the missiles. Come on. Got him. I'm here. I've still got six rails. He should be dead. <laughs> but for plot reasons, Wiseman has to die here. <laughs> but he should be dead after that. Oh. Uh. Yay! 
Yeah, you, you've you taken a lot of railgun shots. You should be dead, X. Ah, fucking souls. Yeah, another two missiles hit him. Another rail gun. You're quite the entertainer, but the show's over with this next shot. Was a bad pilot. Reisman, missile closing. Missile keep him on me. Just a bit longer. Don't worry. Shit. X's plane is literally only fly flying because of blood armor. damage on him because his plane has taken too much oh wait no the glitching out's happening that's the uh, satellite whatever going away Can trigger handle the solo yes come on Not even trying. Man, Mr. X, your plot armor is strong. Are you an anime character? Shoot it down, Trigger. You can do it. In fact, you're the only one who can. My radar suddenly turned off. What is it? Respond. My data won't update. Damn it. What was that? I've lost radar contact. Hunt up. Look at the sun. Okay. Star? No. Maybe an explosion? This is Soul Squadron. Head home. It's not safe to stick around here if we lose our base. Soul Squadron is dead. I killed them all. We just lost our real-time connection with Mission Command. It's not just Mission Command. I'm not getting any response from outside our LOS. Brabanti is now under OCN control. The operation was a success. We didn't get the orders that should have come after the operational success. We'll guide you to the scheduled airport. All aircraft, leave this airspace immediately. Negative. They've got a debt to pay. Count. Awkward the silence until they respond. Shit. Uh -oh, look at those. Died for nothing. Wiseman died so that I could show how hard Mr. X's plot armor is. I hit him with what? Four real gunshots? Five, maybe? I mean, I mean, I mean, I missed a shit ton of them, but like five this real gunshots and how many different missiles? Territory. Other Allied aircraft have probably been forced to make emergency landings at other airfields. We don't know much. The mission to capture the capital is nearly complete, but we unfortunately have no intel. The enemy communication satellites are down and we have confirmed the deaths of several Eruzian leaders. But our enemy was smart. They had a similar plan. Our own communication systems were destroyed at approximately the same time. We have no idea when or if they'll come back online. Stand by for further details. Ah, uh, a shame. Oh wait. No. No. As far as the chaos we find ourselves in these days. No. 